Hey guys, Oblivion234 here with another Elder Scrolls Legend video. Today we're going to be playing some more um, of the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, let's start. The engine found a light Sewers. Okay. This will be great. Okay, yep, yep, I know that. Uh, yes, we'll keep that. Um, we'll keep that as well, and not him. Cool, perfect. Hello, rats. Yeah, it's a crocodile. Yeah, we still play that. It's fine. Oh, it's an angry mud crab. And another one. N another one. Okay. Easy armor. And then we'll just go into North Point Captain next hand. Cool, that's good. Okay, that's perfect. You're with me, so I await your and he gives them all like that, so... In fact, he has to hit that and that. Okay. Hello, Bog Lurcher. Um... Easy Midnight Sweep. And we go like that, so he has to double trade. Okay. Good. Slaughterfish are annoying. Mud crab is annoying. What's died? Mmm. I think we go Profiteer, Warden, Hist Speaker, Face, Face. Okay. Um, we're gonna enchanted plate that, of course. Very good. Ooh. Um. Easy trade. Easy trade. I think we edict that, and we kind of got him where we want him. Um. Okay, that only summons one skeever, so that's fine. Perfect. Um, do that. Play. Um, I'm not even going to play him. Um, that's happening, and I think we play him. And then 9, 10, 11. We hit face. Okay. Okay. Um pop gain health. And we're good for now. Okay, that's fine. 
Um. Face. Face. Um. We're gonna javelin that. And then just play him. Because we need to push the damage. So that sets up lethal. Annoying, but deal with the bull. Nice, we can play him here. Okay. Go like this. Hit face. And that probably wins us the game here. Yay, health. And we're still good. He doesn't have anything with taunt, so. I'm just gonna gain some health and hit, hit. Easy clap. And I think we get, a, we get the actual card, Skeever Infestation. Ooh, nice. Quest complete. And we got Skeever Infestation, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. This is an interesting card. It can combo with quite a few things. And it's actually pretty good. Um, is this... I'll use Disguise because it's just better. Yep. Um, I think we keep all this. Both lanes are uh, shadow lanes, so play the traitor. Because you know, if he ever dies, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Uh. Hit face. We'll save the shadow shifts for when we got our dune smuggler. No need to cloak it. Okay. Annoying, but. Hmm. Deal with the bull. We're gonna move that. Hit that. Easy. I think we're gonna move our Dune Smuggler with our other Dune Smuggler. Okay, we can get through that. Okay, another Elixir of Light Feet, perfect. That also gives it stealth, but that doesn't matter here. Um, we can use Shadow Shift again to give cover. Um, I'm sure they're not going to be, you know. Uh, I think we shave our Shadow Shifts. Okay, perfect, where the hold assassin, just a 4-4 four, four with guard, okay, um, we move our Khajiit here. That goes there when you, so him, that trades, then he's going to, uh, I'm going to play this assassin. Eh. Do I want to, I'm going to 
I'm just gonna. I should. I don't. I shouldn't need to cover him. Um, let's hit first. Let's put this daggerfall mage here. Um, actually, that has a chance to get plus one, plus one at least. So I'm gonna cover that. And I'll play a Brotherhood Assassin. Okay, I shouldn't need to do anything else here. Okay, annoying, but deal with a ball. Okay. Six health is annoying. Um. This actually gives everything uh, stealth, so there's actually no downside to doing it. Um, we might as well also play this while we've got the spare mana, and then this. We can always drop this. We can always drop this. Uh, Dune Stalker. Okay, now we play the Grand Ball, which moves all friendly creatures, and it also gives them all stealth and plus two plus two. So that's good. Cool, another grand ball, so that we can use that as a mass stealth again. Porticolis. It's fine, because we can actually just move one of our guys over and then kill him, so we just win. Because we just move one of our, you know, seven attack guys, and he gets plus two, plus two, and he has no chance to even uh, use a prophecy if he would draw it. GG. Ooh, nice, we got a level two. Cool. Gamer, ooh, two cards? Ooh, Night Patrol. Um, I already have one Night Predator. I want a Night Shadow, I think. Palace Conspiracy is good. Blood Sorceress. That seems good. Hmm. What's this? Assassin. I don't know how you made it in here, but you'll find I'm well prepared. I know all about the conspiracy oh. against me. Oh, all his cards have prophecy. Lol. Uh, I probably need to make a specific deck for this. Hmm. Now the question is. What sort of what? We'll just make a new deck quick. We'll see which one of our things have the most. Uh, we'll just grab new, get this out of here. That is kind of scary for my opponent, but it has to survive a turn. But you can always put it in the shadow lane. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna look good. Guard. Um, probably not you. This seems pretty good. That has a lot of cheap guards. So does this. Actually, I think this takes the cake for amount of guards. So I think we play some form of this. Um. Uh, 
That's good. Good, good. Good, no. Good, no. Well, actually, that's good because we're running uh, purple. We want that. Those. Probably those. And then just good things like paralyze, air on the knee. Um, that. That. Anything that can kill things, shackle, uh, charge lethal, destroy a thing. Okay. Those are good, maybe. Ooh, silence is okay. Um, that's good. That's also good. Okay. This looks like a decent deck. This is just defense. Okay. We're essentially just running as many guards as we can. As long as I avoid taking damage for a turn, I win the game. Okay. Yep. So this is going over there. That just deals with that lane for now. Annoying. Okay, we can put this here. Ooh. So we put that there and this here. So we can kill two things. Okay, and there's always a chance he draws something that just steals damage to us. Okay, play that there. Very annoying. Okay, I can kill one of them. Two. That goes there for sure. Um, the bat goes here. And this is going to kill that. Um, I think we have to finish off. Okay, now there's a chance we just win the game here. Nope, of course it doesn't. And we probably lose that here just because of that. I mean, we can put a mummy here, sure. And he has to trade, what, one thing into it, but... Essentially, you just have to win early against the stack. Or, you know, have... Annoying. Okay, I mean, we just lose. 
So, yeah. I mean, essentially, you just have to get lucky here. This deck, th his deck is meant to, you know, do this stuff. It's meant to kill you. Like, see that one turn where, you know, I actually managed to control the board, he just has something from hand, and you literally can't do anything about that. Okay. I think we just need to draw our faster stuff. Eh. Okay. Yep. Okay. We put this here. I mean, it's only going to tank one thing. See, and he runs stuff like that. So. Like you can, you can literally just control the board, but it doesn't matter. Pardon me, matter. I kind of just got to do this to prevent damage. Um. I mean, there's a theoretical possibility we win here, but okay, we win. I feel a storm no, we don't, because he can attack with that. Hmm. I mean, so that goes there. I mean, th again, there's a small chance if we just win here. Of course we don't. I mean, you what do you do? You literally can't do anything about that. Um, I think we go like that. He's only going to single trade into it, but... Okay. Guard, perfect. Okay. Spider. Silence that. Let's draw a card. Annoying. Okay. Okay. Once he gets two of these, this becomes very annoying. I mean, we can kill that, sure. But see, this would be fine, because we could play this if he didn't have anything. But he does. I mean, we block some damage, and that's about all we can do. Okay. We'll just retry. Like, you quite literally just have to get lucky here. Which sucks, but this is an entirely RNG-based fight. You have to draw your defense enough early enough that he, and he doesn't can't have direct damage. Um, it would be fine as long as um. Uh. And like if I drew my t two of my, you no. Know, zero mana guards, but he also does stupid things so. Uh, we'll drop the recruit here. We draw a card and we can trade off. See, and then he j the, he shouldn't have direct damage cards. This should be a test a test of skill, not RNG. My scale. 
Uh, I am in fact going to coin this out. So he'd have to double trade. Or wait, single trade. But he'd lose that. Okay. Um, I guess as long as... Because we can do this. Paralyze that. Play this. And play this. I mean, maybe I should have... Okay, I think we just win here. Finally. Well, that's a cool animation, but way too RNG based. Because he could have just had direct damage there. What do I get? Is it the Corsair ship? Ooh, that's really good for one of my decks. <laughs> well, well, I think that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we should have the end of this chapter of the Dark Brotherhood. Um, it won't be too long before I uh, work up enough gold to get the next chapter, but after, after I'm done with this, I'll actually start playing some uh, normal games and showing you those. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you really loved it, subscribe. Oblivion234, out.